going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are installing extended lug bolts to help dial in our wheel and tire fitment just a little bit. In today's case, we are doing this specifically on a uh, Nissan 350Z, but the process is going to be relatively similar across a majority of the platforms out there. So just make sure you check the specifications or the specifics for your particular vehicle. But again, I think the process is going to be relatively similar. So let's just jump right into it. So you guys have been following along. I test fitted the new Cosmos Racing wheels on the front and we're going to need a 15 millimeter spacer to make sure that uh, we don't hit the Brembo brake caliper. So no problem, that's what I ordered from Zima Motorsports. They are here, so we got the extended studs we're going to put in and the 15 millimeter spacers from Z1. And then this is just the, the stud installer tool. So the tools that you're gonna need to accomplish this task are relatively simple. Uh, you're going to need some open-ended open -ended lug nuts. That's going to help you accommodate for the, the extended studs. Uh, you're going to need a socket that fits those lug nuts. Uh, an impact drill makes things very, very simple, although you can do it with a, a, a socket wrench and a socket by hand. Uh, again, the, the uh, impact drill makes it a lot easier. You're also gonna want an extended lug bolt puller tool. Uh, it's basically just a, a spacer with a bearing in it that allows it to spin with your lug nut. I've seen people use washers and just kind of stack washers up and help you pull that extended stud through. Uh, that works, but for 20 bucks, this tool makes your life super easy. So let's just get right into this project, see how it goes. So we gotta pop these back, uh, reinstall the new studs on the back side pull them through to get them secured and and uh, into place and I lubed them up a little bit just in case
extended lugs on both the fronts are completed. This is probably one of the most worthwhile tools ever. Uh, it's got like a little bearing in here, it allows it to spin and it just sucks that lug bolt through and seats it into place nicely. And I mean, I got them all knocked out and put back in in less than 10 minutes. Uh, literally the longest thing is taking the wheels off and you know taking the, the brake caliper off. <laughs> Otherwise uh, it's a super easy project. I gotta say it's the first time I've installed extended lug nuts or extended lug bolts and uh, I was hesitant to, to uh, I was hesitant to do it. I, you know I was trying to look for alternatives. I just couldn't find any halfway decent wheel spacers you know that would that would fit and and just getting a 15 millimeter wheel spacer in here wasn't going to work with the factory lug bolts they're just not long enough and you you just can't risk it i think eight millimeters is probably the longest or the widest wheel spacer i would go in the front maybe 10 if you don't ever drive the car very hard uh but eight is the the thickest i'm comfortable with with the factory lug bolts so but now that we see how easy this is we can get any size space where we want, not have to worry about it. Again, guys, very simple process. It just took a few minutes. The majority of the time was spent taking the wheels off and removing the calipers to uh, gain access to the, the, the factory lug bolts. Other than that, it's a pretty simple process. That tool makes life very, very easy, as does the impact drill. Um, but uh, you know, if you need a little bit of a spacer to help you dial in fitment a little bit, um, this is the best route to go. Again, you're kind of limited on the spacer that you can use in terms of width. Uh, with your factory lug bolts or your studs uh, just because if you're not getting your lug nuts threaded on far enough it can become a dangerous situation so extended lug bolts is the way to go uh, thank you guys very much for watching if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below i'll help you as best i possibly can put links in the description below to some of the items used today uh, again this was specific to the nissan 350z but i think the process is going to be very very similar uh, across the majority of platforms out there so thank you again for watching i appreciate the continu continued support more stuff coming for the channel so subscribe if you haven't already thank you again we'll see you in the next one